Hi everyone, and welcome back to my bench. Today we have a new tool on the bench, and that is this micro hot air gun uh, with the soldering iron combo. And this one is the JCD8898 version. Uh, as you can see, it arrived a bit uh, damaged in the packaging, but the content looks okay. Okay, so before I start this review, I want to thank banggood.com for sponsoring this video and for providing this uh, soldering station for me to test and use in my workshop. I'll leave the links down in the video description if you want to check it out for yourself. Within the box, we have the soldering station itself. So on the front, we have the two connectors where we connect the soldering iron and also the hot air gun. And we have individual controls for the temperature of both of the soldering iron and on the hot air gun. And there is a holder where you can place the hot air gun. Uh, on the side, we have the power connector along with the fuse. That if for any reason this breaks, there is an extra fuse that you can replace here. And we have two on switches. One is for the soldering iron and the other one is for the hot air gun. On the back, the interesting thing about this, uh, this station is that it can either be used on the bench, like so, or if we want, we can remove this plate here, and this one can be mounted uh, to the wall, and that's what I'm planning here. I have a wall that's right in front of me, and I plan to mount this on the wall and then the station itself will be hung from there and also so it won't take up uh, too much space and the heat gun will kind of stay uh, out of the way. Else in the package we have the power cable. Uh, we have three different tips for the hot air gun and those are just press fitted to the front. Actually, there is a small dimple here that you push it in and then you, you can rotate it. So well, that's sturdy enough. So you rotate it and it's on. And those are useful for different application depending on how much air you want to direct in. Uh, we have this. This is a small solder holder. You raise it up and then you can directly use it to place your soldering iron while, while you're working. It's okay. It's, um, I mean, it does a job, but I would suggest that you use something uh, more substantial than this. Or if you want to use this, then maybe mount some piece of metal something heavy on the bottom so it stays put. On the soldering iron itself, we have a cover for the tip and soldering iron is pretty simple. We have the connector there and it uses replaceable tips which are from, as I understand, 900 MT. That's the coat and they are pretty inexpensive so you can order a lot online. I do have one more that is for with a really fine tip and you slide it over the ceramic heating element that we have here and then you can cover it um, and so it's on there safely. Here on the handle there is a rubber grommet that kind of makes this easy and nice to, to hold. So that's basically what was in the box. We have four screws uh, that are for mounting the, the plate on the back. And that's about it. So now let's connect this up and uh, test it out and see how, how it works. Uh, to connect the soldering iron and the hot air gun, there is an indentation that's on the connector on the top and here on the top of the uh, plug as well. So we need to 
align that, press the contact in, and then we can screw in this retaining screw, and that is there on uh, safely and sturdy so it won't come off uh, with work. And we do the same for the hot air gun as well. Just press it and tighten it up. Okay, so before I plug this in, I wanted to quickly check something. So I have my meter on continuity because the soldering station is marked to be ESD safe. And what that means is that anything metal that's on the soldering iron will be connected to ground. So there is no uh, buildup of voltage that can damage some of your electronics. And as you can see, both the tips from the soldering iron and from the hot air gun are grounded, which is good. Uh, but keep in mind that the connectors here are not. So only the tips here are connected to ground. Okay, so now let's power this on. I'll first power on the soldering iron. Okay, and that displays 350. I'm not sure uh, what's the measurement for that, but we can check that if I turn it off and I hold both of the buttons here, it powers on and we can choose to either have Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm choosing Celsius, so that was the default. And this is now getting up to temperature and now that it starts to blink, it means that it's now ready for use. Let's see, I'll grab some solder and put it on the tip, so uh, yes, as you can see, that's already hot enough. However, if the uh, soldering iron is not hot enough. There is a menu here. If we press and hold on the two buttons, there is a menu that we can then adjust the display temperature. So uh, if we now put it to 10, that will be 10 degrees hotter than what, what is displayed on the, on the uh, board here because I'm not sure and I don't know. I can't verify that at the moment. I'll leave it on as it is. Okay, I'll turn that off now and I'll turn on the hot air gun. And what's interesting about the hot air gun is that it starts in this sort of uh, standby position where until you lift it up from the holder, it's not turning on and only when I lift it up as you can start, as you can hear it, it starts blowing hot hair and we can increase the temperature here. And there's a, also a setting where you can adjust the speed of the fan that's in the handle. You can see that the display here is not really working properly so you can see that there's missing a digit on the left let's try and see how high this will go so it's to 300 degrees and it's now heating up and yes that's hot and what's interesting about this hot air gun is that if we don't want to melt any of the plastic here the proper way to turn it off is to place it on the stand and that turns off the heating increases the uh, fan and it's now basically cooling off uh, the tip of the hot air gun until it goes to i think 100 degrees and it will then automatically turn off so that way you are preventing any damage that can happen from heat buildup here in the heating element and burn some of the plastic here.
and as you saw once it was cold enough it automatically turned off the fan that's in the handle here and it's now safe to turn off the power completely uh, to the hot air gun i think that's about it for the review now let's uh, try it out and see how it works on an actual board um, i'll move it a bit to the side and i have a circuit board that came out of a um, cd drive and i'll try to i don't know let's remove some of the chips um, here i'll try with with this one here and I'll try to get a bit closer with the camera as well. I'll be trying to remove this chip here. And I have the hot air gun uh, turned on. And I have my tweezers. So if I now lift it up, you'll see that this starts automatically and gets up to speed. And I'll try to blow some hot air on it. We'll see, this is my first time working with hot air and it's a bit difficult trying to also film this because there is not a lot of space between the phone that I'm filming with and the hot air gun. Okay, so that took a bit longer than I expected, but anyway, the chip is out and we can, I'm not sure we can see any marking on it if it focuses, uh, but as you can see here on the board, that was also glued, glued to the board from the bottom. So it took a while for that uh, glue to release with the heat and we managed to get out the chip and here's the here's the glue that's on the bottom of the chip but anyway uh, that worked and so far I, I was unable to do any SMD work because I only had the regular soldering iron and hopefully now we can maybe do some SMD work in the future as well let's now also test the soldering iron I have it here set on 350 and let's try to apply some fresh solder here. And as you can see, that works without any issue. If I now try to pull this from the board and we pulled in this two color LED from the board along with the holder and that worked perfectly fine. So all in all, I'm really happy with uh, with the soldering station. It seems to be able to do the job just fine. As you saw, we were able to remove some SMD components from this board, even though they were glued to the board and they were on there for like years already. Uh, we, will, we were able to solder and desolder this LED and the station perform, performed flawlessly gets to temperature really quickly and it also is really small so it won't take too much space here on my bench especially when i mount it here on the wall it will remove some of the space that it's uh, that my current soldering iron is taking up with that i want to thank banggood.com for sponsoring this video and for sending me this uh, this station even though that they sent this station for free all of the opinions are mine and i really do like the, the station and hopefully we can now extend the type of project that we can do here on the bench that was all for today i'll leave links down in the description to the station 
so you can order it, uh, so you can check it out and also I'll leave links to some replacement tips here so uh, you can go to more precise stuff like this one and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.